Lewis Hamilton is set for a sensational move to Ferrari in 2025. But while many expected to see him do the test drive that is set to happen on Tuesday, two days after the grand finale in Abu Dhabi, it seems like Mercedes will have a word or two to say on that matter. The Brackley-based squad is not willing to let Hamilton in earlier than his contract allows, but could this make things even more complicated between them in the last six races of a legendary 11-year stint? And if so, will Mercedes regret such a move? There are lots of things that the 2024 Abu Dhabi Grand Prix will be remembered for, but it's obvious that the most heart-touching one will be the last race for Hamilton in Mercedes. This is the race in which he lost the eighth championship in a controversial manner in 2021, with the same team that he will say farewell three years later, at the same tarmac, under conditions that maybe could have been avoided if both sides compromised a little bit. But that's now all in the past, and Hamilton has signed a contract with Ferrari that will see him collaborate with two of his former colleagues in Mercedes, Loic Serra and Jerome D'Ambrosio, as they will look to secure the eighth championship sooner rather than later. However, Hamilton's quest of getting used to a Ferrari machine might be compromised by Mercedes, as the Silver Arrows are not ready to give him a tad earlier to their fiercest rivals Ferrari like Red Bull did with Gasly back in 2022, when they allowed him to have the test with Alpine two days after the Frenchman drove his last race with Alfa Tauri. Obviously, Hamilton will be under contractual obligations with Mercedes until the end of 2024. But there are situations in the past that allowed teams to give their drivers a respectful move to try and adapt to their new environment a bit earlier, with the first opportunity being the test drive on Tuesday after the grand finale. But according to the BBC, or more precisely by Andrew Benson, who is a very close reporter of Formula One for this media outlet, Mercedes are not planning to give Hamilton this luxury despite everything he's done for them in the past 11 years. To say that he's the greatest figure in the team is definitely an understatement, because it was under his lead that Mercedes managed to win eight consecutive constructors and seven consecutive drivers' championships, as Hamilton only lost one to his teammate back in 2016. Be that as it may, the stats speak louder than words, and if we're to look at the drivers who wore the silver arrows in the past, Hamilton is the undisputed king of the team, which is only adding a bit of awkwardness in terms of whether or not Mercedes are in the right to block his move for him. Hamilton is the only driver on the grid to have 200 starts with one team, which surpasses the record of Schumacher, who had 180 starts with the prancing horse of Ferrari. Although, truth be told, the growing calendar helped Hamilton a bit in this situation. On the other hand, Hamilton has the most wins for Mercedes ever since they came back in the sport, sitting solely at the top with 84 wins. To put things into perspective, Mercedes as a constructor has 128 victories in general, and the second driver on this list is the only man who was able to beat Hamilton in the championship fight as his teammate, Rosberg, with 23. Still, when things got tough in 2022 and when Mercedes brought Russell against Hamilton's wish, and them not listening to the feedback of the seven-time world champion regarding the car's philosophy, Hamilton got through all of that in a bid to try and compete for a championship in the foreseeable future. The move to Ferrari seems like a reasonable one, and while things are set and done between the Hamilton and Mercedes, a move that Wolf labelled as shocking in the very least, and one with huge consequences for the team, Mercedes feels like Hamilton has a lot of duties with the team before he closes the curtain on this chapter of his life. Obviously, there's still a lot of a farewell duties that Hamilton needs to do with Mercedes because of his commercial value, something that came across as an obstacle in the contractual talks between these two sides. And according to Benson, it's because of these duties that they're not willing to give Hamilton some time to get accommodated to the Ferrari machine. Obviously, he is not present at every meeting that Mercedes has right now because of the risk that he could be breaching data once 2025 starts, with how close the regulations are and how close Ferrari and Mercedes might be now that they have understood the issues of the car. But this is the least of the worries on Toto's mind. The principles of Mercedes are standing still, and it will definitely be interesting to see how Hamilton will react to this decision from the team. Although there's nothing much you can do about it, because he is left in the hands of the team as to whether or not he will be released of such duties. Susie Wolf, the wife of Toto, believes that the move of Hamilton to join Ferrari, while legendary in and of itself, is still bringing her a lot of sadness because she views him as a very close friend. Elaborating further on this matter, Susie said, Quite often you have this perception of Lewis from a distance that he just rocks up, jumps in, and is fast. But he works incredibly hard off track at every aspect of his life. He's absolutely dedicated to being the best driver he can be. 
As much as I'm sad in a way that he's going to end his journey at Mercedes with his move to Ferrari, I think it will be an iconic moment to see him in a Ferrari race suit next season. The situation for Mercedes is quite clear. Wolf has admitted that there's a new future for the Silver Arrows and it lies with Russell and Antonelli. While there were certain doubts that the Brit doesn't have what it takes to be a legitimate leader of the team due to the circumstances under which he inherited the leadership role from Hamilton, it's worth noting that with one less win in 2024, Russell is still very close to Hamilton in the driver's category. On the other hand, Wolf has labelled Antonelli to be the next Hamilton and wants to follow a blueprint project as he did with the seven-time world champion, which kind of spells bad news for Russell, because from his point of view, it does look like the Italian will have a little bit of preferential treatment, given the unexplored talent he possesses. But what's definitely certain is that the consequences in Mercedes will be felt left and right, and when talking about Hamilton's move to Ferrari, this is exactly what Wolf has emphasized, saying that there might be a point from which the team could never recover once Hamilton is no longer part of them. To lose such an integral piece of your team, the man who won so much for you, and the man who sacrificed a lot of his races just to help the team understand the car more, just to receive what he did from Mercedes is definitely a fault from the team's side. And when talking about the future of the Brackley Bay squad in the post-Hamilton era, Wolf said, We think we've found the right combination for the future. With Lewis, an icon is leaving. As for the story of Ferrari next year, there will be a huge echo everywhere. A decision with extraordinary consequences is how I describe Hamilton's switch to red. We want to focus on the future, and that is why we have this pairing. And of course, while this move of Mercedes does make a lot of sense, it just goes to show that no matter who you are, at the end of the day, Formula 1 is just a business, and there's nothing more to it. When the time comes to turn a new chapter, you should be fully ready for it. Wolf believes that the future of his team has already been sealed with Antonelli and Russell, and while he flirted with the idea of having Verstappen at any given time, if the three-time world champion was to make himself available, he shut down all of those rumours by stating that now he knows where his team is headed to. But the impact of Hamilton on Mercedes is so great that Wolf now wants to replicate everything he saw with the seven-time world champion on the young Italian driver, although at the same time he wants to keep him out of the pressure points and make sure that he develops into a proper driver and a strong character with due time. With Hamilton, he already had a chance to win the championship on his first try by sitting in the most competitive car at that time and only lost it by one point to Raikkonen. And when talking about how his path could have helped Antonelli's future, Wolf said, I think the project that inspired me more is the one that is more similar to Hamilton's career. Hamilton's growth in the junior categories and his impact in Formula 1 came at a time when you could test a lot more than Kimi has been able to do now. Ron at the time said Lewis needed to take it easy to get used to F1, also because Alonso was at McLaren. However, that never happened. Lewis was immediately competitive and a success. With the current preparation, Kimi can jump into our car and be competitive. However, F1 is a different animal than it was at the time of Hamilton's debut. There's a lot more dimensions and faucets compared to the past. There's more pressure and social media. So I think it's important to keep everything moving in the right direction. Keep the right priorities and avoid what is not essential. The goal is to create a new success story, as happened with Hamilton. With all of this in mind, what do you think about Hamilton's move to Ferrari being blocked earlier than anticipated? And do you think the team has every right to not allow the seven-time world champion to accommodate to the Maranello team's machinery a bit earlier than anticipated? Let us know in the comments below and once you do that, make sure to click on the video that's appearing on your screen right now.